time, we are watching murderers go free. They hide behind their badges, they hide behind their white privilege, and they use the excuse that they fear for their lives to murder our young people in cold blood. It's done. Eggs, my brother. No, no, no. Don't think about it. All you self-righteous assholes do is march and destroy your own communities. Killing me won't change a goddamn thing. <laughs> Different when it's a grown black man standing in the ground. Barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh uh I want to make this video real quick, but sorry, I ain't got my sweater on, man. <laughs> my hoodie, but I want to make this video. Uh I want you guys to watch this. Like, you know, I ain't think me, right? Mike. If I'm not a nigga, I'm nothing. Not true. No, no, it's true. If I believe it's true. Yeah, but you should no, no, believe no, no, that. No, you can't control the way I fucking think, nigga. I'm not trying to. Then don't talk about it. That's what it is. Nah, if, I don't, if I'm not a nigga, I'm nothing. So don't tell me I'm not. Why would you think you that? you because it is. It's that way. That's where we agree to disagree. Because I, agree I look at you true. as a king, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I look at you as one of the greatest people that ever walked this planet. The things you have done in your lifetime so far away from the original connotation of that word is crazy you don't know my shadow i don't i know what you've done in my life. shadow my shadow come um it, it counter products everything you say about me brother i mean my i know what you've what done you in the light my brother me. you can't oh, okay. have a shadow without the light to this like, is how Einstein, me right mike if i'm not a nigga. and basically he basically confirms what i've been saying mike tyson got demons man and y'all believing that these drugs cure people and no man it, it only it's similar to money man it only illuminates who you really are and and mark mike tyson has a deep deep dark abusive past controlling demonic and i know many of the stories and um i think it's just incredibly let me take this off i think it's just incredibly incredibly important that we heal ourselves we are responsible for our own healing all right um everything else is just inspired to get to the space of healing and i root for mike tyson like i root for everybody else but we can't sit out here and start praising people for being great when they got work to do was he a great fighter i think it's arbitrary you know what i mean he was box office i don't think mike tyson was a great fighter i don't think he's a great human being I think he has work to do. And uh, I know that sounds harsh for some people because like Mike Tyson, like other fighters, you guys have just got these celebrity crushes and you guys think celebrities are great. No, they have great talent. That doesn't make them great human beings. And um, the harm that Mike Tyson has done to people, he can't live with that. So he's sedated all goddamn day. You know what I mean? And he says, I'm a nigga, man. You don't know what it's like. So this is really... You can do an anthropology on this and um, and and correlate this to how we live in, in our societies, man. Why does Steven Jackson go to the hood? Because this is how we view himself. You know, he can have all the money in the world, all the success in the world, but this is ultimately how you view yourself. And when you're detached from your maker, from your spirit, this is what you get. Mike Tyson is a human being detached from his spirit. And uh, um, I appreciate you, G, for sending me this, man. But we don't have many conversations on this because I, I think at some point we all have to face a demon and we got to make a decision. Do we fight or do we flee? You know, and uh, it's time to face our fears. It's time to face our demons. And, and Mike Tyson is living proof. If you don't face your demons, you're going to be a sedated elderly human being. Who wants to do podcasts all day promoting drug use? Doesn't sound right, man. I don't care who you are. No one who does that. Some white man has him out there promoting drug use. How many podcasts has he been on the past month? Everybody's right. 
And I appreciate uh, the host. Is that Keenan? I don't know. I appreciate him for standing in the pocket. I genuinely appreciate that. And um, it's genuinely that important. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations. Feel free, hit the subscribe button and uh, checks and balances out. Make sure you guys you guys see the link right below. Checks and balances. Go support. And uh, I'll talk to you guys real soon. I'm sorry I didn't get much in depth, but I got some work to do that I need to get done. And uh, But I will come back and, and uh, talk about this. And I will have my hoodie on next time. <laughs> I'll let y'all. Peace.